Hello everyone. Once again, welcome to PM Networking. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, today in this video, we are going to configure VPC. VPC stands for Virtual Port Channel. See why we need it. First, then we will move to configuration part. This is my scenario for day. In this scenario, we have three switches, switch one, switch two, switch three. These are Nexus 9000 switches, right? Generally, we are using this technology, VPC technology in data center, right? See why we are using it. Between switch one, switch two and switch three, by default, a span entry protocol is running as you know. By default, STP is enabled on switches. So watch what a span entry protocol will do. A span entry protocol will block one link. Like on switch number three, we have two link ethernet one slash one and ethernet one slash two but a span entry protocol will block one link maybe stp is blocking this link so you cannot utilize both link here e0 slash sorry e1 slash one and e1 slash two okay either you can use this link e1 slash one or one slash two by default because of a spanning tree protocol but as you know if you want to utilize both link on a switch then we can use ether channel like we can use lacp protocol to bundle these two port together through lacp protocol what we can do we can bundle these two port right in a port channel and then we can then a spanning tree protocol will work on that port uh, virtual port right note on the physical port so we can utilize both link but in this scenario we cannot bundle these two port of switch 3 why because one link is connected with switch number 1 and one link is connected with switch number 2 so one link e1 slash 1 is connected with a different switch e1 slash 2 is connected with a different switch so here we cannot bundle these two port right but if you want to bundle these two port what you can do you can combine these two virtual switches uh, these two physical switches into one virtual switch into one logical switch if i will combine these two switch together now you can see uh, both link of switch 3 is connected with single switch because now switch 1 and switch 2 is combined in a single switch right so now my scenario is like this switch 1 and switch 3 and switch 3 is connected with this switch with two link one slash one and one slash two this is one slash one one slash one and ethernet one slash one and this is ethernet one slash two one slash two and now we can bundle these two port in lacp protocol because these two ports are connected with single switch so that's why we come up with vpc technology right generally we are using it in data center now let's move to configuration part here you can see i have same topology in evng and uh, i am going to bundle these two port of switch 3 in lacp okay in a ether channel so see configuration is high here i am going to configure uh, vpc in five step in first step we will enable vpc feature then we will create we will configure vpc domain for both nexus switches like switch one and switch two then we will configure vpc peer link peer keep alive link then we will configure vpc peer link which will carry the traffic between vpc peer okay and finally member port in into vpc so here you can see in between switch one and switch two i have three link one is management zero one is ethernet one slash one and one is ethernet one slash two so here management port will act as keep alive link this management port will act as keep alive and ethernet one slash one and ethernet one slash two ethernet one slash one two ethernet one slash two will act as vpc peer link right these two ports will act as a vpc peer link so now let's move to the configuration part here you can see I have console of switch one here just I have run this command feature VPC okay you can again run this command VPC this is switch one here I have run this command on switch number two also I have run this command VPC uh, feature VPC to enable VPC feature on switches after that next step is next step is configure uh, VPC domain so let me create VPC domain here command is vpc domain and then domain id let's say 100 right on switch number two also vpc domain and then domain id let's say 100 right so 
<coughs> now first before configuring vpc domain we need we will configure you know management port so let me configure management port here interface management zero port first of all you will run no set command here no set and then i will assign this port to vrf management so vrf member management and uh, i have run no set command and then we need to assign ip address let's say ip address on this switch is 192.168.1.1 slash 24 right in the same way on switch number two also let me configure management port interface management zero say no set first and then vrf member management and then ip address here ip address is let's say 192.168.1.2 2 slash 24 this is IP address right now we can verify the connectivity do ping or here I don't need to say do ping 192.168.1.2 and source is VRF source is uh, VRF management source is 192.168.1.2 1.1 and then we can say VRF management so you can see ping is working I am able to ping the switch number 2 from switch 1 from here also we can check connectivity ping 192.168.1.1 and source is 192.168.1.2 .1 VRF management so see ping is working fine right so now i have configured the management port now let me configure a uh, uh, vpc domain so to configure vpc domain here we need to run this command vpc domain first vpc domain 100 and then peer keep alive destination 192.168.1.2 is the destination right and then source 192.168.1.1 is the source <coughs> okay and we need to say here vrf also vrf management fine we will do same thing on switch number two also vpc domain 100 vpc domain 100 then peer keep alive destination 192.168.1.1 source 192.168.1.2 and vrf management that's it now we can verify it verify this configuration by running command so vpc peer keep alive peer keep alive and here you can see my keep alive peer is let me maximize it so vpc peer keep alive and you can see vpc peer keep alive status is peer is alive right the uh, send update is success receive update is success fine this is destination ip address okay on switch number two also we can verify it so vpc peer keep alive and you can see here also vpc peer keep alive is alive right send update is success receive update is success right destination ip is 192.168.1.1 so <clears throat> this is vpc domain configuration on both switch on nexus switch 1 and nexus switch 2 now let me configure peer link so to configure peer link first of all we will enable uh, feature lacp on both switch on switch 1 and on switch 2 so let me run this command feature lacp okay then interface e1 slash 1 2 2 and channel group group number is let's say 10 and mode is active fine then we need to say no set to this and then we can configure description also if you want to configure let me assign one description also to this port description let's say peer link peer link we will do same thing on switch number two also feature lacp then interface e1 slash 1 2 2 
चैनल ग्रुप नंबर टेन मोड इज एक्टिव से नो सेट एंड देन डिस्क्रिप्शन फियर लिंक फाइन सो दिस इज फियर लिंक configuration on both switch on switch 1 and on switch 2 now in next step in next step on switch number 1 we will configure this port channel interface port channel 10 say no set here also and then switch port and then switch port mode trunk switch port mode trunk and then vpc peer link okay fine now on switch number 2 interface port channel 10 say no set here switch port switch port mode trunk and vpc peer link fine and now on switch number 1 and switch number 2 we can verify vpc peer so vpc we can run this command so vpc and so vpc role so now you can see vpc role is so vpc so vpc let me maximize it now you can see vcp domain is 100 peer status is peer adjacency form okay vpc keep alive status is alive configuration consistency status is success these are fine and here we can see the ports the port channel 10 status is up active fine mode is active on switch number 2 also we can run this command so vpc to check vpc peer configuration here also domain is 100 and peer status is adjacency form okay fine and here we have this port channel actual port channel fine now on switch number 1 ping 192.168.1.2 vrf management we are able to ping everything is working fine now switch 1 and switch 2 will act as single switch switch 1 and switch 2 is acting as single switch so vpc this switch is this switch is primary switch and switch number 2 so vpc switch 2 is secondary switch switch 2 is vpc role secondary fine so this is vpc configuration now guys on switch number 1 i have this link ethernet 1/1 that is connected with switch number 3 and on switch number 2 also 1/1 is connected with switch number 3 so we need to configure this port interface e 1/3 channel group let's say channel group number here is 20 and mode is active say no set exist exit interface port channel port channel 20 interface port channel 20 switch port no set switch port mode switch port mode trunk right we will do same thing on switch number 2 also so on switch number 2 interface e 1/3 channel group 20 mode is mode is active say no set here exit interface port channel 20 switch port no set and switch port mode trunk switch port mode trunk 
and finally on switch number three so let me access switch three also here this is switch three in feature first of all feature lacp then interface interface e1 slash one two two on switch number three we have these two port one slash one two two channel group 20 mode active no set then exit interface port channel <coughs> 20 port channel 20 switch port switch port mode trunk switch port mode trunk and no set then go to switch one let me member port into vpc interface port channel 20 vpc 100 on switch number two interface port channel 20 and vpc 100 right now so port channel so port channel summary we can say now summary so you can see here we have two port channel 10 and 20 in 20 <coughs> In port channel 10, we have these two port, and in port channel 20, we have this port Ethernet 1 slash 3. And uh, on switch number 1, so port channel summary. Here also, we can see we have port channel, everything is working fine, and now we can run this command. So, VPC role. Let me maximize it. And now you can see VPC role is primary dual okay this is these are the MAC addresses this switch is primary switch by default priority MAC addresses you can check this information and this is VPC configuration this is VPC configuration now switch number one and switch number two is acting as single switch and we have uh, you know bundle link uh, between now, now you can say these two port of switch 1 and switch 2 are bundled in port channel 20 and these two port are bundled in port channel 20 right so we can verify it like this on switch number 1 so port channel port channel summary you can see in port channel 20 we have this port ethernet 1 slash 3 and on switch number 2 we have this port in port channel 20 and on switch number 3 so port channel port channel summary we have these two port in port channel 20 fine so this is how we configure VPC okay so one of my paid student requested me to make one video uh, to configure vpc right so that's why i have made this video guys if this video is helpful for you if you have learned something from this video please hit on like button if you have any doubt any confusion let me know in the comment section i will try to uh, make another video on it thanks for watching that's all for today we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe guys bye bye